Bradley Thad, Thad de Napier, Noin and Liam Edwards. Duima a George Weidman with Fedriol a heavy in game go pies. Poor it hard, poor in Mebion, Rudich K. Pendifuni. What language was Is that? Is it like screen okay? It's weird because. Do you need like I, I, a wipe or something? I grew up learning this language and having to speak it in school. And yet, now that I look at it, I have no idea. Here at the Dad and Sons Podcast, once every week we have no idea about one or more topics that we'll, 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 we'll use the internet to broadcast right directly into your ear orifices here tonight on the Dad and Sons Podcast. <laughs> Who are the dads? Who are the sons? We'll find no, out no, no, here tonight no. <laughs> on, on the Dad and Sons show. You're, you're making it. You're making it a thing. We we we, we just let it. Just let it. You know. <laughs> Which part? Obscurity. The language or the you Let's decide see. part? Oh. Let's, uh, since I'm next, <laughs> let's both of them just Here at the Dad and Sons sense. podcast, there's very little that I don't want to drift into obscurity. <laughs> and this is why Matt isn't in charge of brand management, because the only two things people care about seems to be language and deciding whether we're Dad and Sons. It feels like we've dug ourselves our own holes that we now have to fucking live in. <laughs> That's that's the name of the game, baby. Another day, another hole. <laughs> I'm always dirty. Stop trying to revolutionize us, Matt. It's not what the people want. <laughs> so I feel really bad that I didn't get into Monster Hunter earlier this year when you were going through it, Liam. Because you've been playing the wrong one, so it doesn't really Wait, matter. What? Well, I think it like has finally clicked with me at this point, believe it or not. No, I'm, I'm just, uh, I just think I, I might have finally passed oh, over the, like, okay. tier one set of quests for Monster Hunter Generations, <laughs> which means I've been playing for, I'm pretty sure, at least 35 hours at this point, but, but now so it's starting to reliably done. getting paced. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing as much, uh, like, gathering fetch quests. There always seems to be, like, at least one big monster I gotta worry about on my quests now. It's getting a little interesting with the, the decisions that I have to make. I, I, I was, uh, having to, to upgrade armor, and I found, I found a good one that I, like, have my, my mind set on. The, um, Aspiskeros armor is... Is, is is a project that I have my mind set on these days and that's that's nice to have like a project and goals and 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 frequent action and you know like the thing that's that's on the name of the game the monster hunting is is something things to seems to be regularly happening and instead of being just a bonus did generations still have the ranking system like G rank and stuff like that I think so kind of although you? I have like what, what I is still the quest? have no idea how to improve my hunter rank. Well, it's the quest I think it you're started going at a three, and it's been at a three this whole time. So your your rank is three then. I'm I'm pretty sure I have uh, monster hunter ranked three. Yeah, whatever my monster the quest hunter number is, a three is rank. I think She's... is the is what what your rank is, and then you get G hunter quests towards the end, and that's when you are ranked G. Yeah, yeah. So they they also arrange them differently with the stars. Like there's two star quests and three star quests online. You're you're talking about something different though, I think, right? Um, I can't remember. I'm st I'm now lost in the world of world, where world has world got away rid of all that, and world now has just like the uh, it basically is like an RPG leveling system. So it makes sense. Uh, yeah kind of but it doesn't it doesn't because the the story the like the single player story does it kind of locks you to 14 i think and then it seems like you're 14 for ages while you're finishing out the story quest and then as soon as you you finish the story just like all of a sudden like it catches up with all the xp that you've gotten it doesn't lock you to 14 anymore and it boosts you to whatever level 
your XP equals to, so you shoot from like 14 to like 25 at the end of the story quest, which is a little weird. I don't know why it locks you doing that. Um, but yeah, and then you can go up to, I think it's 100. They have Oh my god. Yeah. You, the, I'm I, looking I know at the guide few. right now and it's so big. Yeah. Good game, man. Good game. So, so yeah, I've actually been... I think I've been a, an, an HR1 this whole time. <laughs> it's okay, you're getting there. You're getting there. Why does it take so long? Because it's Monster Hunter. It's renowned for this shit. You gotta grind it out. So I was struck by how there's a very, very clear gating in the world of, of the quests it wants you to do online and the world of the quests it wants you to do offline. I I cannot play the quests that advance the quote unquote 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 story online. The 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 online monsters hub will not give you many of the quests that are needed to progress this video game's uh, story into events that occur further past ones that have already occurred. For for they do not allow it. They they have slashed it off the dockets. They've said no. This is to go inside of our walled garden. And it's not for you. Is that because you're trying to access uh, like quest, like event quests that are maybe outside your rank or something? You should be able to at least find some quests to do online or join other people. I forget how like the 3DS ones work, especially Generations, because I didn't play Generations that much because it was so similar to for you. I've completely forgotten because the Monster Hunter world system is so totally different. You make a, a online hunter hub is what they call your lobby, basically. And, and you can... Way. Yep, you can invite or search into a random stranger one. It's all things considered not too oppressive by Nintendo standards, but what is... The annoying roadblock about this system is that a lot of the necessary story quests are unavailable online. Ah. Just like full stop. Okay. I remember having to do quite a lot of solo missions in 4 Ultimate. So. World if is like you I... can pretty much play it completely online if you choose to. Apart from some story quests. And then you can SOS people into your game which is super handy if you're struggling a little bit just buy world george That's... you've practiced now generations was like the practice now you now you get the get the big boy game and play online in world yeah but it will annoy matt even more yeah maybe we'll finally push him over <laughs> Take the edge that. yeah and he'll buy he'll he'll buy that yeah yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna buy a PS4, damn it. <laughs> that thief do it. won. <laughs> God of War needs to come out for a PC. That fucking thief. <laughs> yeah, man. Came in here and came that was the second time he came in. He came in and he took the PS4 and ran <laughs> right out when the alarm was going. I don't know why I left. <laughs> He, he loved Bloodborne. He's he like a robber like, house. Nah. He's like, I'll, 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 I'll rob a house. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> I'll do 10 years. Yeah, yeah. I'll do 10 years. I'll but go to I jail, but, I but I'll play. never play Bloodborne. I won't fight Father Gascoigne. I just won't do it. God fucking damn it. That PS4 had PT on it too, didn't it? Yes, it did. Did you yes, not just like search did. local listings for like PT-based PS4s on sale? <laughs> oh, that that was a long time ago. <laughs> the wounds time are ago. still open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now now I'm feeling it. Like now that PS4 has become pretty much the console. Can you just sell Xbox that shit to so all the PS4? <laughs> I could, but you could bar you barely get like eighty bucks for 
<laughs> we're not but talking about the Xbox too much. I mean, just... what's 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 good though? What's what's a good video game you can play on your console nowadays? <laughs> on PS4? Y y yeah, we're literally yeah. talking about Monster Hunter World. Well, the God last Guardian. You got the fantastic uh, Final the Fantasy. Fantastic you got God of War. Final you got Fantasy. Uh, Monster Hunter. <laughs> Is that like the Marvel spinoff? <laughs> Now, 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 with yeah. extra completionist yes. pro Jared <laughs> advertisements, did you? Did you it's growing some branching into some weird places. Wait, no, they did it for the on, you know the mobile 15? game tie-in, the like shitty city building one. I think oh, they had. Okay. And they said, "Oh yeah, the the, the no, base game they, was I th great." No, it's like an too. official advertisement. It's not like a you know like a YouTube <laughs> let's play promotion. It's like an official Final Fantasy advertisement. If you look closely, <laughs> you can see their pockets get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of the PS4, because George just buy Monster Hunter World. You do that. I'm and also trying. Are you are you buying it right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really confused as to what you guys are obligating me to because I think my internet. I'm, I think I'm having a Comcast fun outage again because I can like hear the robotic echoes <laughs> of me being obligated into buying something I don't think I want to buy. <laughs> did you oh, miss the oh, other okay. parts? <laughs> I guess he did. <laughs> yeah, I guess he did. Enjoy, Don't worry about it, enjoy George. listening back to that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what did you do? We get a we yeah. get a little text. Yeah, no, we're cutting that out. Live, like, <laughs> Guys, why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> So wait, wait, you're coming through clearly. Did did you did you tell them all my my terrible secret? <laughs> no, but you can dive okay, into it now good. so we no. know what it is. We, oh, all now, right, all right. Said... So that way I'll at least hear it happen. <laughs> how how considerate. I I wanted my Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy um Final Fantasy 15. I didn't want this 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 filth that they released. I mean, this decent. decent game that they released, right? Decent game. We could have had Space Nova. Filth, right? Decent game. Oh, man, that would have been great. That's not a great I don't know generic. about the love triangle thing, but... To be fair, to be fair, to be fair. Yeah, but everything else Kudos good. to George on that one. That was some pretty... Thanks. Pretty excellent reporting. Well done, George. That video was excellent. I uh, well quite enjoyed how much... Uh, Jason Schreier had to uh, compliment it before, before saying that that I was being too mean to the publishers or something. Nah, he's gonna he's gonna save some face. He's gonna, so he's gonna save some people's uh, face. But just before we right. move on from the PS4, and I don't, I only want to touch on it a little bit because I've only played maybe another five or so hours, but I am playing more of God of War, and it gets better. It was it was a good game anyway, but it definitely gets better. And I'm so now it's a ten really, out of ten. I know it's still not like a ten out of ten because <laughs> no matter who commented on the video last week defending the combat, once there are mobs on the screen, the combat turns to shit. There was like one fight where I spent like fifty minutes. Trying to fight like five dudes. It was just endless. They were not even strong enemies. They would just mob the screen in this tiny area and like hit me from behind and you have the crappy little arrow at the bottom of the screen pointing to where they are. No matter what, when there are mobs on, it's not good. The combat is not good. I don't care what anyone said or, or all the people commenting last week saying get good or well, fuck wow. you about getting good. The mobs, it's bad. It's just, it's just bad, okay? Mate. No. You just need no. to get better at I'm, I'm good. <laughs> what, what, what? I mean, you re you really oh defended God. Final we, Fantasy this, 15. Is this how it is? Right. Is this how it is? And now, but not. 
But now, now everyone is saying that the no, combat is good, and you're the there is a like difference, the right? Because I okay, okay. Right. Oh, is this a road that mm -hmm. I'm gonna take mm -hmm. down in my regalia? <laughs> this, I'm getting in the regalia with my homies. No, <laughs> first off, disclaimer: God of War's combat is miles better than Final Fantasy XV's. That's just the truth, right? But there's something to be said about okay. the camera. And with Final Fantasy XV, although suffers from egregious issues similar to the God of War, where once you get mobbed, you it's hard to see what's going on. And especially with Noctis just fucking jumping and dancing around everywhere, warping to every enemy. But at least that's some form of like lock-on that works and you can sort of reorientate yourself. And also, if you're struggling, you have like three other dudes there to help you. Right? Like, AI companions are pretty much wipe out, like, everyone else. And also, the camera is much more pulled back than God of War. Whereas in God of War, it's like, basically, you're like a fly on Kratos' shoulder. And you're, like, trying to fucking fight from on top of his shoulder. No wonder you can't see, like, anyone who is to the left or the south of you in any way. You can only see, like, characters from the right, because it's like that third-person thing where he's not directly in the middle of the screen, he's, like, off-centered to the left. So you're always looking, like, half-torso over his shoulder, and he takes up, like, a good third of the screen. So not only can't you see what's happening to the left of you, you can't see what's happening behind you at all, whether it's left or right. The only thing you can sort of see is, like, a square on the screen to the right of you, off center where enemies are and then you're always turning and it does have a quick turn but that like the emotion blur on that thing just disorientates you completely and Kratos's turning circle is like a fucking giant tractor so it, when you're fighting like one on one or like one or two enemies it's fine but because of how close the camera is it's still not good it is not good even with his cool powers and you can like you can get people away from you like, you don't really die in that game because you have so much, like, uh, what, do we, what do you call it, like, MOBAs and MMO, like, mob clearing or whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. You can, like, wave clear things. Uh, peon sc scrubbing. Oh, uh, um, AOE. Um, Error of the, effects. The bubble yeah, yeah, swiping. Yeah, yeah, AOE. yeah. yeah, yeah. AoE attacks. So Kratos has like a lot of AoE attacks where he'll like jump in the air and he'll smash his axe down and then like a wave of ice will like fly out across and stuff like that. And you can call Atreus to like stun enemies so they'll stay in the same place so by the time you're turned around maybe they'll still be in the same spot. But on top, on top of that like if you're just like trying to swing your axe around like if you were like playing a third person action combat game similar to Bayonetta or something it's not that great because he turns so slowly. And you could use the quick turn, but it's even like more blurry and faster than Resident Evil 4's. So, no matter what anyone says, it's not that good. It's fucking, it's not good. It's not great. And get good, whatever. I don't care. It's just not good. You're too close to Kratos' shoulder. If, if, for like the storytelling purposes, you need to draw in that close, which I understand because a lot of the scenes take place at that level, like very face-to-face -face or when you're like from Atreus's point of view you're looking up at Kratos and stuff like that and it works really well from a storytelling point but when you're like in combat it's impractical like even in Uncharted it pulls out you can look and get more of the area I wish that would happen in God of War like where the camera would just pull out by a few feet so Kratos is maybe in the middle of the screen and you can see more of his body it would help you sort of orientate yourself in an area where there are maybe five or six enemies, especially when you've got one giant enemy you're trying to focus and then you're in an arena where that e that enemy will call six others to come. And then you're trying to deal with this big hulking mass in the middle of the screen, as well as the big hulking mass that is Kratos. And then you've got like these six tiny dots of enemies on the screen that you don't know where they are and they're hitting you from all sides because they have projectiles or massive jumps and stuff like that so no it's not that great but the game itself and everything else aside from that little bit aside from that the game is good it's really good i'm really enjoying it the more i play the more i start to like kratos and atreus is like relationship and dynamic and there are more characters i've met now like there's a character called mimi who i won't spoil anything about but Anyone who's playing the game, once you meet Mimir, 
and what happens with that kind of stuff. It starts to become even more interesting. You have a lot more characters talking and all this kind of stuff. So it's pretty, pretty damn good. Hmm. Don't know if you guys can hear that, but we just hmm. had like an earthquake <laughs> while I was talking. Was, was that a real earthquake? <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Can you hear the noise? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did hear that it. Was, I hear yeah, that, that was, that was really an earthquake. Yeah, that was a small earthquake. <laughs> Liam, you could have died. Well, some people would have preferred it listening to me shit on God of War's combat. But, yeah. <laughs> That's what you Liam, are you okay? That's what you get. I'm okay. <laughs> you poor baby. It's okay. It's quite noisy. I think maybe there's a typhoon as well. Where, are you in like yeah, a tall building? Yeah, I'm in like an apartment, but I'm on the ground floor. Thing? So if if all of a sudden I just cut out, it's because my neighbor's bath fell on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, what is the Japanese? Yeah, bath? I guess like, it's just like plastic, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's true. It's nothing though. <laughs> They don't have tubs. Well, it's not like you it's know. It's true, like a giant in the U.S. Yeah, like a giant ceramic like, like, tub. White, no, big it's white you just tubs. have like a whole bathroom fall on top of you in Japan because like the shower and bath is like the same thing. <laughs> so like you would just have a whole shower room fall on top of you in an earthquake. I think. Woo. So uh, you got you got everything together over there. You've like wiped up the the detritus and and slid some of the rumble under the bed where. Where no one will notice when they come in for inspection. <laughs> do do, do you I? hear noise above you? Yeah, like Japanese apartments, you know, you could yeah. like flick your finger through the walls. It's like crackers. Uh. Yeah, I can yeah, hear like people's above footsteps. You. I, people I understand laughing the size, people's TVs but... all the time. The worst part is, and the worst fucking thing about Japanese apartments oh is, is my God. usually Japanese people sleep pretty early, uh, especially if they're working. But, <laughs> my God. If I'm up, usually we record this podcast about 10 o'clock Japanese time. So we usually finish between 12 and 1. And then I'll stay up for a little bit. And usually I go to sleep about 2 a.m. on the days we record the podcast and by that time everyone most for the most part in my like apartment complex is asleep so i can hear like three or four people snoring i kid you not like there is one guy who wow. i don't know if he lives above me or he lives next to me like i can hear him as clear as day just like snoring away and when you're trying to sleep and all you can hear is like the f rumbling of someone snoring it's like Impossible rumbling. to fall asleep. It's just impossible. Like complete concentration on the breathing work. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. That's 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 intense. It is intense. Like earthquakes, pretty intense. I mean, drill a little hole to the wall. Or just like just when like George, just like when George had, just like poke him. Maybe George was snoring and his neighbors wanted to get a, get a little bit of looking. Why? Why? Wait, why would a, there be a little he hole? Had a peephole, George? Oh. I'm under. I don't understand this snoring hole either. Wouldn't that make it worse? Because then I would just get the whole of the sound. What? Like no, pr so you can hit them, them away from a really long stick. So when they wake up, oh, that's you true. can go to sleep yeah, like before they go to sleep. Yeah, that's yeah. As pro strats, it'd man. be fucking easier um, to. It'd be easier to hit them than a. That's what I used to do. Out of war, anyway. So, uh, you guys, oh, speaking, speaking of, of mobs, yeah, that's how we're going to segue. Speaking of, uh, following the, um, the, the brain, brain dead masses. You don't want to go further down this no, hole? No, I think, I think <laughs> I'm, I, I, I've, like, fit up to the shoulders in, in, in the current hole, and I, I you, you've more got more stuff you want to, like, dig up out of the hole? <laughs> You want to like I some more roll your here. sleeve up and, and <laughs> stick it in. Wait, if it's the hole, I think George is gonna go down. I mean, I think Matt will have a lot to say anyway. Oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was gonna talk about movies. Are we gonna talk about the movie, oh. or or have you just watched some other movies? 
<laughs> okay. <Bible>? Yes. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get into that, but, but for now, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's roll over what you guys watched while, while my internet's all crappy here. No, because are we really going to go from talking about Avengers <laughs> Infinity War to the Bible Man? <laughs> <laughs> Bible Man. <laughs> I, I used to watch this when I was young. <laughs> Holy crap. Bible man. This was so bad. It was so now, now like Christian media has gone from so bad. It's good. I, is that, is I, that what's happening here? I, I watched a lot over, over this weekend. I, uh, I don't know what this is. Wow. Yeah. Watched a lot. <laughs> you can't even sit through a good anime and you watch Bible man. And, uh, why don't you just go to Veggie Tales next? Just so, watch the whole so thing. Yeah? Remember the part Veggie Tales, where, Veggie where the characters do the things from the trailers, and um, I don't know. I think like someone's still gonna have to explain this stuff to me. I don't even know what this is. Are we talking uh, about Bible Man? Talking about the, in, talking about the, in, the the Infinite Marvel? War. I thought we were talking the, about um... Bible Man. <laughs> Bible Man Infinity, Infinity War? Wait, War? no, that's a different one. <laughs> Is that like yeah, the sequel to when one. Jesus rose up again? So, so did you like it? Did, did, <laughs> did you hate it? Wait, what, so, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, 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 should we give our initial impressions of whether we liked it or didn't like it without spoilers first? And then go into spoilers mm -hmm. at a predetermined. I mean, let's just not. Can do we? Because I let's feel like spoilers. talking about the ending of the film is quite spoilers. important. I'm I'm good either way. Yeah. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I guess. Mm, to get in why there's certain things I don't like. And also like, why it, it's it, less of a normal spoilers, Marvel yeah. film compared but, to the other lot that we've had. Well, I mean, by my standards, yeah. I still don't know Is what's, like, normal. I, it just, should we, should it we just throw like, out a spoiler I, warning here? I, I enjoyed just it. Look at I, the timestamp down below and and skip ahead. If you're worried about spoilers. I'll jot this down. We're, okay. uh... Ow, fuck. We're 28 minutes in. Okay. Infinity War. There was a war. I'm assuming yeah. you liked it? Yes, I did. It's not the most amazing film of all time. Uh, of course not. But right. there are things that you... I think can't be ignored about what made that film quite quite special in the sense that it straight off the bat we don't often get massive cinema build up anymore you know we had the whole like lord of the rings harry potters the star wars that kind of shit but we haven't had like the watch all these movies for like a big payoff cinematic event for a while, like the Hobbit, yeah. fuck the Hobbit. You know, no one g g gave a shit about the Hobbit <laughs> because it just, it, you know, it was bad. But there wasn't. There's been like no cinematic payoff, and although we haven't got it yet because there is going to be a part two, this definitely felt like putting yourself through the good Marvel movies and also like fucking pulling your ass through the shitty ones was worth it to watch this. And yes. Marvel has introduced a heck yeah. of a lot of characters. I mean, there are like, what, 617 Marvel movies by now? So there are a lot of characters. So this movie could have been a fucking mess right off the bat. But they did it. It's the most ambitious it, crossover right. event in history. They did, they did it. Like, right, guys? Everyone had... But George knows nothing because he, he doesn't <laughs> watch any of them. So you must have watched who, that who movie, is, who is, saying like, "What? What? I mean, there Why was like some America video game to stuff." Tony Stark. Uh... 
<laughs> Oof, George. Oof. Uh huh. So <laughs> like with the well, that's interesting because I do want to know what George thought okay. as someone who maybe hasn't paid attention to him, to a lot of Marvel movies. <laughs> but in terms of like, if you knew all the characters, even then, they each got like ten minutes that was well thought out. The dialogue was in there. The humor was on typical Marvel point, but no one was like left behind in any way. Like, no one didn't appear for, like, 30 seconds and just, like... You were like, why is that guy here? Or what are they doing? Like, every... every Like, the Guardians, the Captain, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange... Like, everyone had, like, their bit that was all working towards something. Like, nothing felt like a loose end and nothing felt random in any way. Like, every bit of the, the movie, like, all the bits where it cut to all the different, like, side stories... It was just like a load of B stories like coming together to meet the A story in the middle, which was arguably like the the Guardians bit with Gamora and stuff like that. And it all like worked. And like to actually get that right, yeah, the movie is super long, but I don't think it could have been any other way. But to get that right is really fucking hard. And like, even if it's not the best movie in the world, that is like commendable. At, at, the, at the very least. Like, as someone who knows a little more about filmmaking than me, Matt, like, yeah. did, did you think the same? Oh, the editor must have been pulling his hair. Um, no, no, I, yeah. th- I think so. I think that's, like, the best part of the movie is that they, did. they landed it um, well, also, quite well, I would say. Um, they definitely put the A team for Infinity War. They got like the C team for Black <laughs> Panther, but whatever, because everything looked really yeah. good for Infinity War. You know, when Hor- um, Thor was slamming that that big old axe. And, when he was oof, doing like his video game esque so chain lightning moves, so <laughs> these AOE attacks. I, I think I saw yeah. some in VC three. Yeah, everything looked De- good. <laughs> definitely. Every every now and then. On top of that, though, they gave everyone their bits, but they also. I, gave Thanos so much screen time to make you care or yeah it's a Thanos movie because he's the only one not known it, the thing about Thanos though is that I did not get him I didn't get him as a character they did him they did give him backstory but there wasn't like a scene that says like where does Thanos become a dick where's the dick scene you know I wish they had a flashback of him, um, of, of his family starving or something on, on Titan. Like, there needed to be something that clicked in his brain to make him the way he is. Because he seemed to be a, like, he had a normal person with feelings and everything. And I thought that they did such a good job with that. They, they should have tapped in for, like, like a, I don't know, 10 second scene of seeing his family dying, you know, when, no, because when I don't, they were talking about it I don't think that's what they time. were going for. And this is why I actually um, really like Thanos is because his explanation is pretty valid. You know, like the universe is running out of, you know, materials or whatever, or resources. And we need to keep it because he's a psychopath. How, how is that valid? Like he thinks he's doing good. Like the reason is like, whatever, but he just thinks he's doing good. Like he believes truly he's the good guy. That's why it, it it works more that he's like this kind of nice guy sometimes and he kind of does nice things and he's just like someone will do something for him and then he'll be like cool I won't kill you and then other times someone will do something for him and he'll just like snap the neck or something like he just it makes him unpredictable while at the same time you being like intrigued into who he is as a character he's he's basically just a psychopath and you know throughout the movie he thinks he genuinely is doing the best thing and everyone else is like working against him because they don't understand like he says in the movie like maybe he's the only person who knows this knowledge he says that to Gamora and he truly believes he is the only one who has has the foresight to see that the universe is going to come to an end but I think he just takes that upon himself because he's an egotistical psychopath who obviously they hinted that on Titan he saw the resources run out and his family, you know, was shit and all this kind of stuff. Like, they, they, they could have done more with that. I definitely agree with you. But the reason was there. And then all on top of that, you're just thinking, dude's just a psychopath. Like, he, he truly thinks he's great. 
I, I never like characters like that. I never like characters like that. I, I, I like characters when they they really show you like when yeah. it bro broke. Like he, as human beings, there's some people who take things and they can survive through this rough time and some people who digest things differently. And I wanted to see why, what happened to him to make him digest this like, oh, I need to fix this. I need to kill everybody instead of like figuring out some other way to do it with the, the power of the universe. He wanted to kill yeah. half of the population of everywhere. You know, there has to be a reason for him to do that instead of yes, you know, trying to you. figure I... out another way. Because he has all the power. Like he he snapped yeah. his fingers and he and, broke the freaking and... gauntlet. You know, just just to do this thing this way in this particular well, way. They do Why, hit at though? it a little bit. Why though? Yeah. And 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 there is a second movie, so I might we might find out there. And it is a comic book movie. Like I get it. Like I still enjoyed the movie. Like I don't care. You know, I I don't want to be like a sour puss. I want to just <laughs> enjoy my freaking movie and be done. It's a Marvel movie. Like I'm not expecting to see like some deep dive into a character like I see on some of my shows. They, they, you know, they it's didn't just, just make him like that normal villain where they're just like, ha ha, I no, want no, ultimate didn't. power. I want to, I'm just going to kill everyone for the sake of killing everyone because everyone is a good guy and I'm the bad guy. He, you know, he, he was more complex. He, he was good. He was, he was bad. He was intriguing. And like Josh Brolin did like a super good job of like, making him like a, a character that stood out not just like a shitty villain like steppenwolf from like justice league or some shit like that you know he was like he wasn't always just like i just want infinite power i'm gonna control the universe he was like no i'm getting the power stones because like this is what i'm gonna do this is why we have to do it because the universe is running out of resources and i'm the one who is gonna take control of it and do it and i don't care how many people i have to kill and even when he says like I'll kill people at random because it's not important <laughs> who dies. He's not, you know, he he's not like picking people out. He's not like you die because I hate you and stuff like that. He's like, no, we we need to do this because the universe is running out of resources. And it's kind of, it made him way more interesting than just like standard comic book villains who are just like after mad power because they're just batshit crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, like the point is like they. I feel like they. They like really almost had it, and then they just kind of like, uh, we're not gonna have this scene. I, I wonder if it's on purpose. And I mean, they could have just said, oh, that's enough. Uh, or maybe I missed something. Maybe I need to watch it like 20 billion <laughs> times to get the point. <laughs> yeah, bomb it in my mouth. But I mean, it's it, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 okay. Like it's okay. Like I don't know. There, there's some things like. Like why you know you you see like a certain things like Doctor Strange like he's supposed to be incredibly powerful, you know like you've seen him teleporting half of people's like limbs off and stuff like that. Well, wow. his friend was uh, the the other guy. I can't remember this guy's name. Yeah, why didn't he just do that to Thanos? <laughs> like why didn't he just cut out the his whole body? You know. Like it didn't make like I I want to know. We've done and that. This is gonna get into spoilers. <laughs> I want to know what would have happened in this in this alternate reality where they got the glove off, because he could have easily stopped um, Star Lord from hitting hitting Thanos for getting mad for killing Gamora. And I wonder what would have happened if Spidey got the glove off. Would he? Would Thanos just got the glove back? Like. You know, would would another character put on the glove and become evil? Like, I I want to know what would have happened in that also because they only won in like one this is what I don't get about the time reality. stone, right? Like, so which is the stone that allows you to travel to different dimensions? Like, there is one of them that must allow you, or is it you can only control that dimension's universe? So Thanos can't just like peace out of that universe to another one once he's wrecked that universe and then go wreck another one, right? Like that dimension is completely sealed off. Because otherwise, wouldn't like Doctor P, Doctor Peace, Doctor Strange, mm. just peace out to the to the universe where they succeed if he had the time zone? I'm not. I'm not really. Not. Not. 
Yeah, none of the, none of this stuff is doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, the powers are like sort of a little to make intertwining. Sense, to be honest, like people like us, like picking it apart, or people like me, like it, I'm n <laughs> what, what you consider no fun. You know, like it's just like you might as well just go to the movie yeah, just to elements, watch the movie. Yeah, there are elements. There are elements of it, movie. like. You know, you know, he has the gauntlet, can't he just, like, make more resources? Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I, that's what yeah. I, some, a lot of people were saying that. Like, why don't you just not make, a movie. Just make another planet? I don't know. Like, it's not do a movie, anything then. else other yeah. than killing half of but the people. But that's the psychopath in like, him that doesn't make any and sense. That's... Right, and that's what yes. I'm saying. I wanted to know okay. the reason yeah, I get, I get where you're coming he from, did now. that. <laughs> and it's like... The like there, there's got to be a reason yeah. why he decided to go this way because he wanted to do it on titan and they were like no you're crazy blah 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 and i could totally mm. understand it's like oh i want to do it this way and you know because i saw my my family starving and <laughs> blah, 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 and i just yeah. want to have it this way this would be the ultimate like we might still get that unload you know and i could watch the sunset <laughs> now that i've killed everybody and, and that's the, that's the thing about killing everybody like you know all these yeah. characters are not dead so what was the point what was the point like what was the point of killing them off i never See, I'm i never enjoyed on that one i never enjoyed I'm temporarily off killing off characters i i i you know? liked the ending because it was super unmarvel like it was kind of dark in a way like if you think if you were a kid and you you know you didn't know that they just pump out Marvel movies for money, you'd be like, oh my God, Spider-Man is dead. And you, you know. You, the, the thing is, no, no, I like the ending, but the other characters in the story, like you think Gamora's dead? Well, you really make, think like, Gamora's dead? Well, they make like a three, so it, it really depends. Like, Cause this is the thing is like Loki, Heimdall and Gamora were the only ones Gamora's who were killed dead, by the the Thanos effect thing. Like they were killed, killed. So I was thinking like, maybe they can reverse time to have everyone who died. I, I feel like that would be the ending I could foresee, which would be like a Dragon Ball ending, which would be like, we're gonna reverse what he did. No, but they're gonna be like, the Everything. limitation is that we can only reverse. Yeah. We can only reverse the people who died when the gauntlet was like snapped and that and then they'll have like the Peter Quill moment where he has to come to the realization that Gamora is not going to come back because no one cares about Loki or Heimdall. Gamora was the only one who is like, you know, the A cast. So like one person dying, I feel like I can see. Yeah. I, I, Tom Hiddleston. Loki's actor is so good though. I really wanted to see him again. But he's been in like he's, six he movies. He never proved himself. So, <laughs> he, he does keep just appearing he's as so like the good. comedic brother. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It, they've yeah. been on this on this thing for years now. It's I'm pretty sure. So like I can totally Robert see is done. this is why I like the end of it. Right? Like, I liked the whole fading away part and then cutting like spending a good five minutes cutting to characters who you know and you have got to know and watching them fade to ash was kind of powerful if you suspend your disbelief that they won't come back. But the one was the sp was Spidey when when like when Spidey like starts crying and you know you're like shit he's a kid he's only a kid and he's dying and you know he hugs like his his dad which is you know Tony Stark but, and you're like oh my god like that that was a, that was like the best part of that but the only but you know that I know I said suspend disbelief out. for so a little while suspend dead. but I agree with you I agree with you everyone will come back. And like they're not gonna no, kill off yeah. Black Panther. Like, come on! Like, as soon as Black Panther disappeared, I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Let's let's see, <laughs> let's see <laughs> the world take that." <laughs> yeah, Black Panther is not like, gonna stay yeah, dead. You know, Bucky's gonna come all. back, of course. Spider Man's gonna come back. Doctor Strange is gonna. Come back. We're all gonna come back. But the only one I think, and this is the thing, is like with all these movies, the thing that disappoints me the same as other media like One Piece people don't die enough so they get the get a little bored because the stakes never seem important 
Like the like watching the trailer for like Ant Man and Wasp like after <laughs> this just felt like what would be the point? Why would you watch something like that as like comedic like the stakes of a city? Oh wow, we've had like the universe on fire thanks to Thanos. But then like everyone surviving after dying is kind of like it also takes away the uh, just like you'd never feel like anyone's ever in danger. So that's why I think, yeah, everyone will come back, but at least one person has to die. And then, uh, obviously, no one really cares about Heimdall or Loki in terms of, like, the long game. But there was, like, a real deep relationship that had built up with Peter Quill and Gamora. So I think Gamora will probably stay dead. They'll be like, we can reverse what he did with the gauntlet. Because the fact is, she was important like to will. Thanos as well. So I feel like the fact that she was very important to Thanos and also Star-Lord means that the revelation at the end of the next movie, after everything has been said and done, and Thanos is... Either Thanos reverts what he's done, mm-hmm. like he feels like he wants to bring Gamora back or something, and he, you know, the captain gives him a good old talking to, like the captain does, and he's like, you did wrong, Thanos, help us change everything back. Or they actually, like, in his last dying breath, they find out they can bring everyone back. And he's like, no, you're going to ruin the universe. And then they find out, you know, Star-Lord and Thanos, like, look at each other. And then they find out that Gamora is the only one who can't come back. Because she's, like, dead, dead. All right. I could talk more, but... I can't tell if George's Skype's gone. (laughs) George just can't say anything. (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit of both, I, I, maybe more that he has no idea there, what we're there, talking about. There was about. definitely a lot to take in, but um. So George, as someone who has seen, I think only Black Panther. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that don't. Oh, that's the. Apparently, bar. this is the bar to which I hold myself with Damn. these days. Well, Why? I, I, mm. Why did you watch? You watch the Bible, man, and there's like so many other good movies. You can Guardians watch of the Galaxy, Iron Man. Thor, you can watch any of them. Well, 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 it seemed like like Liam was so oh, very Guardians complimentary of, of it when uh, when coming back from it. For, I forgot for the that first you time. hadn't seen. I knew we would end up talking about it. So, and I but I forgot Black Panther was the only film you'd watch. <laughs> No, no, no. There was also uh, Captain America because it was kind of Metal Gear. Remember? Oh Where yeah. The villain like has a, a concept oh, art can slideshow I, can monologue I very in quickly, the middle of their cutscene. Very quickly say, and then yeah. George, you can. I would definitely kiss Steve Rogers in this movie. Kiss the edges. I, I was, yeah, I was he's, he's feeling all sexy, sorts. Man. For that beard I'm, I'm sorry, you were you were you were roboting a bit there. I, I heard kiss the edges. <laughs> kiss kiss Steve Rogers. <laughs> ah the captain. Kiss Steve Rogers, he's, okay. He's looking mighty fine. Mighty fine in this movie. hmm So George But I mean yes. I yeah. Even though he's gotten so boring. <laughs> he's always man. boring. He's Captain America. He he does just kind of like yeah. smile and like do Superman. the right thing. Just boring. Yeah. Do you know what I do like though? <laughs> Captain the, America. They don't call him Captain America anymore. They call him the Captain. I think it's a little a little basic. I like that. <laughs> they're making, I think it, it's, they're um, making him the global captain now, like Captain Global. It feels, it feels a little streamlined, a little um, simplified. You know, a little. Uh, um, just, just like, like they're responding to a bit too much Captain of uh, the before, previous. And then they decided to say, mm, probably not Captain America anymore. Hmm. I wonder what changed. <laughs> guys, guys, I actually have some terrible news. <laughs> have you not been recording this whole time? <laughs> no, no, we, we made it through that fiasco. We made it through an earthquake as well. Even better. I didn't actually see the the, the Infinite War Smash <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> Me 
and the wow. girlfriend just spent the weekend watching Kick Assia, 1998's Godzilla, <laughs> and three episodes of Bible Man. Wait, so so you lied just wow. to listen? Wow, <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> you made us believe who. You, you I, made us I know, believe it. I know. When, when me and the girlfriend were talking about it, she was like, how long do you think you'll be able to go, George? I thought, like, I don't know, five, six minutes. <laughs> 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 but I have a timestamp down here that, that we God. started talking wow. at 27 Fucking minutes damn in. Damn it, George. <laughs> And now we're 50 minutes in. <laughs> so, Matt, I have and some more just thoughts like... <laughs> on the Avengers, if you'd indulge me, Matt. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> nah, I'm no, I'm good. I'm shut done. Shut out George for the I'm rest done. of this podcast. This is his own That's punishment. <laughs> well, you don't want to hear about Bible Man? Yeah. Let's talk about Dead Cells. Oh, man, Dead Cells is a great, great game. You guys should go play it. It's like a Metrovania I played a bit of it. action platformer. I played a bit of you know, it. With an ever-changing castle. I played it. I played it's a bit like, of it before. Huh? Yeah, uh, back in beta, it was kind of it was kind of garbage, I would say. It, it just didn't feel right. It, it felt like it was um, not that it was too hard but it just wasn't balanced in a way to make you feel like you weren't wasting your time. And now they fixed it. It's pretty solid now. Like there, there's, you, you could kind of understand what, what you have to do next. Um, even though the castle is kind of always changing. Um, they always have like a, well, you get like different powers and those powers will unlock different little sections of the, you know, randomly generated castle um, <laughs> that will lead you into other um, biomes, I guess. And then you can like fight other, like there's bosses, there's uh, different types of enemies, there's different types of weapons that you can create synergy with, with, with traps. The animation is good. It feels satisfying. Um, it kind of feels like souls where it's like, like pattern based. It's, it's, it's a real good game. It's a real good game. I mean, they really did. I mean, if you like this type of game, you're you're probably gonna be down. Is, it, like is it giving you the stuff? Is it giving you, you the you sort of would like Hollow Knight it. fix that you need? Yeah, yeah. For the meantime, it, it's not quite Hollow Knight because, it, like, okay, like I I don't like the roguelike stuff. I I somewhat like it. I, I'm okay with it if it's done right. This one is done right. Um, it's not quite as like you can beef up your stats or anything like that. You get these souls that you can use to unlock um, like extra potions and stuff like yes. that. Nothing that actually makes you stronger other than being able to reset like the shop so you can buy stuff or hold a certain amount of gold when you die. So you, you will always, it will always be luck based um, and skill based when you get better at the game, which you definitely do. And you really understand the enemy's patterns because uh, later on, if you get hit once, like half your life just goes away um, on some of these hits. Uh, so you have to be extremely careful. So it is hard. Um, I don't know how they handle the balance after that. I'm pretty sure you're you got to get some like really good drops on like your necklace piece, which reduces damage. But that, you know, you have to get good drops. Yeah, it's 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 good if you um, if you know. You like picking up uh, oh, yeah. blue balls. Uh, this is a game for you. How, how did you know? Yeah. 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 Well, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just uh, putting it out there for Whatever people. Whatever floats like your boat, man. Blue balls. So that's what you're into. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Every every time I stop playing, I get blue balls, and I want to play again. It, it's 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 that, that type of game where like. I hate that I died and lose all that good stuff, but I really want to get past this part, so I'm gonna play again. Nice. Yeah, it's it's that type of game. Here at the Dad yeah. and Sons podcast, so we good. know all about getting blue balls. I tell you what, I was blue ballsing over, and I finally got into. Yeah. So I've been. So you guys know I've been on like a huge Magic what? the Gathering, like, rebirth, recently. And I've been getting mm -hmm. hard, hardcore back into right. it. So 
And I've been. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Immaturity. <laughs> and it's fine. So there's a new set that came out <laughs> called Dominaria. It's like uh, Magic's 25th anniversary. So they're making a big hoo ha about returning to the original, like, um, plane. Like, the whole lore of Magic is built that we have all these different dimensions called planes. And the original one is called Dominaria. So they're returning to Dominaria in this new set, and they have like loads of cards referencing like the original set of magic and kind of stuff. And they're all really cool, and they have these new thing called sagas. But it ties into the fact that they've been opening up the MTG Arena beta more for people to play. So MTG Arena is basically like the n brand new online way to play magic. Like they've had shitty stuff they bought out in the past that didn't really work and they've always had mtg online which is like 16 years old now i think so like it's like basically playing magic through excel it's that bad so like everyone has been trying to get into this beta for ages i've been i signed up like months ago to try and get into it i've been getting blue balls because everyone else was getting codes like and playing dominar and stuff and i was missing out and i was watching streams of people play it it looked very cool but I finally got in on Friday. I got a key. You got sucked in. Wizards of the Coast mm -hmm. allowed me through their doors, through their secret doors, where everyone was having a fun card-based time. And I basically spent all weekend playing nothing but magic <laughs> online instead of playing God of War. It's pretty good. It's definitely taking some elements from Hearthstone without a shadow of a doubt they are understanding what Hearthstone took from them in terms of making a good card game and then ha turning it into a good video game and they're trying to do that um, it has a limited amount of card sets you can use at the moment basically just standard like four sets of cards which is like two years of magic um, so there are you know a heck of a lot of cards that aren't in the game which means like you see a lot of the same decks like a lot of the same sort of stuff you come up against all yeah, the time. Yeah, I'm real tired of seeing all the same decks. I knew! I knew it! I knew it! You stay over there, Blue Balls. <laughs> and, yeah, it's pretty good, though, and it's shaping up to be pretty good, considering it's still only in beta. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, the economy of it right now needs some work. Like, it, it's free to play, but... The emphasis they put on having to buy shit is too strong, especially for a company like Wizards of the Coast, where you have to also buy physical cards as well. They definitely need to think about what they've set in stone for the economy. So, like, if you do play Magic and you, you know, can't always play, like, physically and stuff like that, it's a pretty good substitute. I've been enjoying it so far. It's, it's, it's pretty addictive as well. I was, like, listening to Matt talk about Dead Cells and, like, you lose a game and you lose, like, gold or you lose, like, a rank and you're, like... I just want to play again. I just, I, just need to, I just need to get in. I need to play another game. And it's so easy to just jump into another game that I've been constantly back and forth ranks and getting into competitive game card games again, which is really dangerous for me. But it's fun. I'm enjoying it. And I now no longer have blue balls. I, I love curing those blue balls with a lot of, of fun new types of dicks. <laughs> oh Godzilla like Man. <laughs> he has blue stuff no no he Godzilla, a Godzilla's a girl Godzilla oh yeah she has babies in that film she, she don't need no man she don't need no man she's the first strong black female in the movie so I was really As happy with uh, how, how scientific they got in 1998's Seminole Godzilla. That's an old joke, guys. Don't get offended. That's an old joke. <laughs> Fast podcast. <laughs> I, can, I, I can just hear it now. <laughs> I, think, I think there's no saving this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna roll away. Oh, bye. <laughs> oh no, I broke my PC. <laughs> 
Flay and Jimmy Olsen have been kidnapped. Who will save the day? You are Superman. All the powers are yours. Flight, heat vision, super speed, super strength, freezing breath, and x-ray vision. Buy early and receive a DC Comics Collector's Edition Superman comic book. Superman, the new adventures video game. Hello, and welcome back to Blue Balls and Suns. You, that, that's if not you the can language. tell me what the language was, not the language. I'll then introduce it again in the language. If you listen very closely very to the beginning, I wasn't anywhere near my microphone. <laughs> I was putting up foam in front of my desk so it won't be so echoey in here, and I failed. Kroiso <laughs> e... <laughs> so if you guys hear like <laughs> it doesn't get edited out <laughs> that's what happened uh, Africans it, no, no Af it wasn't. Africans. someone did request me Af to do that because they wanted to hear my shitty British accent oh. say it but then I took one look at it and was like fuck no no it was Welsh it was Welsh <laughs> I I can't believe I, I didn't recognize I did it. Not. It's 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 half of me. I, but we also couldn't recognize Norwegian, right? <laughs> Wait, I I don't know. No one has tried. No, that's a segue. Nope. Damn it, that's a, a spaghetti segue. way. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you dropped the spaghetti. Ma, I like you, you dropped the spaghetti. Ma, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some of us think so. Some Listeners are just like, what the fuck are they on about? And they're, they're just waiting for the story to happen so they can understand why I said yes, that. Yes, yes. So for confused <laughs> listeners at home who might have no idea why Matt Visual just randomly decided to say, Norwegian in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> M -M. The Norwegian Consumer Council filing complaint is against four video game platforms for breaching your. <laughs> that is to say, the Norwegian Consumer Council is filing a complaint against four online gaming platforms, which include the Nintendo eShop, Steam, Origin, and the PlayStation Store, for breaching clauses concerning the right of uh, customers to withdraw their games and also cancel their pre-orders in the case of the Nintendo eShop. I get the idea behind canceling pre-orders. Like, that's a bit shitty if you can't just cancel a pre-order for something digital if you decide not to do it because like with psn you have to pay up front in total for a pre-order if you can't just cancel that and get it back if you change your mind or something comes up that sucks but <coughs> yeah i i'm surprised that pre-orders aren't as protected as refunds i thought they were something that people always could no, in cancel, on, but on PS4, shows like what as far as I, I know, know, I haven't pre-ordered th anything on the eShop. But in terms of the PSN, you have to pay the whole price up front for the pre-order. It's not like in a store where you you either don't pay anything or you pay like a percentage amount. On the PSN store, you have to pay the full amount immediately, even if the game's not out for six months. So this is another case of European markets clamping down on regulations that a lot of times those of us who have lived our whole lives in the American markets didn't even know was, was something that could require regulation enforcements to be standard practice so much as, as, as we just think they're standard practice sometimes when they're not even not. Like, being able to cancel pre-orders is something that I'd expect you'd be allowed mm. to do. The other, the other one is a little that's more not the difficult. Case. Like, not, like, the refunding of digital things, I feel like, is a really hard thing to approach. Like, you can with Steam, like, if you play it, what, less than three hours or something like that? I two. think it's two. But, you know, depending on how long a game is... You know, you could buy, like, I don't know, Sonic Forces or something. 
<laughs> breeze their <laughs> into house. Okay. You r- quite I'm rightly sure should the get your money back. Idea is that if a game is going to be providing you the value of the price tag, it's probably something you're going to want to keep around for more than two hours or two weeks. Whichever comes first, I believe, is how the system works. So even really short games would would still get the pick of the litter if, if the guy wants to keep them around for longer than that, like, unless they're like really... Yeah. Really stingy, low-income, poverty-type situation. It's hard to where... approach, but... Yeah. I mean, it's all good for us, as people who buy games, I guess. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, fear and backlash against the, the, the specter, so to speak, of government regulations bringing an end to um, disparity between digital versus physical refund and consumer protection uh Features as well as as supposedly loot boxes, maybe. That's 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 a way out. Yeah, it's the loot box route. thing is different though. That is just that needs sorting out. Whereas this is more like acting like a traditional store. You know, if you're not happy with the game, you just take it back to the store if it doesn't work or something. Or you know, with your pre-order stuff. Which is something that's always weirded me out about digital game sales in the first place was the lack of um refunds you get with that option anyways i i I don't think we've had a lot of uh insight to to share on that one maybe we'll have insight to share about tatsumi kimishima stepping down as the president of nintendo to thus pave the way for shantaro furikawa to take his place as the new president of nintendo Hmm. immediately though there is one thing a lot of people (laughs) seem to have misunderstood a lot of people oh okay okay let's let's make it interesting a lot of people misunderstood that kimishima was only ever meant to be a, an interim president. He was. Oh yeah. He uh, when he was initially announced, he was he was announced he was going to be an interim president. While well, they find another president, he was never going to be around for a long time. And, and I so remember that people, from uh, the the Iwata yeah. obituaries. They they seemed to be very diligently reporting yes. it at the time that he wasn't going to be yeah, around for no, long. He was their choice to he you know he was I can't remember he was like a bank banker for a while like he didn't have much experience in terms of working with video game companies and he'd been at nintendo for a while though working in departments unrelated to creativity it was more like a like a stable ship like a captain stabilizing a big company after such a you know sad and you know terrific loss uh both creatively and also as a good manager in iwata but you know kimishima did an excellent job and nintendo of obviously risen quite high in you know his his term as the president so a lot of people seem to be immediately massively confused thinking nintendo had like fired him or were you know replacing him but that was not the case he you know he was always meant to be an interim man i I also don't know how wise it would be to pin the success Nintendo is currently having on either president. Well, everything was all like the Switch and all the that decision making, Breath of the Wild as a game, I am sure Mario Odyssey, all that was in the works, of course, when Iwata was still alive and was greenlit by Iwata and his legacy is still within, you know, Pokemon Go being like the first foray into mobile and all that kind of stuff is it's more like Kimishima took what was happening and just made sure nothing majorly drastic, no massive decisions were made. And like, and Furukawa has already had words for some big yeah, plans regarding yeah, mobile. Like he he wants one major blockbuster, which is fine for uh, for Nintendo's mobile lineup it's, within the next. You know, years of it's windows basically a, it's not an alien idea as it once was you know we've had super mario run we've had the animal crossing game we've had pokemon go and also you know there's a mario Kart game for mobile coming soon so it doesn't seem like such an alien idea anymore you know you've also got fire emblem heroes which is making a lot of money so nintendo have obviously seen 
the success and the uh, the ability to step in that market without also stepping over their own toes. Like, you know, they bought out Super Mario mm-hmm. Run and they also bought out uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, but that's not going to stop anyone buying Fire Emblem from the Switch or Super Mario Odyssey. So they've realized that they can balance both markets. So I imagine he just wants to... Because he's Japanese and he sees every fucker on the train playing on their phone, that that's probably an important thing to look into. What is cool though is he speaks fluent English, so that that'll be a first. Uh, Iwata was pretty good at English, yeah. but not the greatest. And that's a little more uncommon in Japanese developers than people oftentimes give credit for. Is that? A lot of them will oftentimes speak English behind the scenes, but never good enough on on camera. But like I know, I know uh, that according to the Kotaku notes, he speaks I've, English. I've heard I that, don't know if I've seen you know, it on video like yet. Miyamoto-san, though. like Shigi, he's he understands English like to the point of fluency, but he is either too embarrassed to speak it, or his speaking is not as good as his listening. Which is something I totally understand because mm-hmm. my listening is way better than my speaking. And you get, you know, you get shy and embarrassed, especially if people are expecting you to talk at giant conferences or on video and stuff like that. Um, Add to that the Japanese buff to humility. Yeah, and, but the only thing that excites me is like, can we have like Nintendo Directs again? Can we have like fun, loving president? Like, no one will replace Iwata and like, and the way he was just an endearing character as well as being a good president. But it would be nice to have like the funny, funky Nintendo skit direct stuff again. Lanky and Like the cranky, one they did for yeah. the, although the game didn't turn out to be great, the one they did for Star Fox Zero that one year where they had the puppets. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm, they had mm-hmm. for E3, it was like puppets of Miyamoto, Reggie, and Iwata. They acknowledged Mother 3's absence in Western markets. Mm. Well, it'll be interesting. He doesn't take over until June, so it'll be af- it'll, ju- it'll be around the time of E3. So, And we know E3 is going to be completely dominated by Smash News. So it'll be an interesting time for him to take over. Did... Did you know that there are three E's... In El Dorito Takedown. <laughs> that was not as good a segue as Sp- Matt set you up for. Speaking of E3, yeah. there are three E's in El Dorito Takedown. <laughs> so you remember how last week I was really excited to be playing Halo 3 again? Yes, George. This week, Microsoft decided that the party was over. Everyone had had the uh, contractually amount, contractually obligated amount of uh, fun they were allowed <laughs> we'll to be you, had. We'll give you and a weekend. <laughs> to, to... They gave us a weekend of fun and then decided to politely ask the El Dorito team to stop making new versions of El Dorito. Which is really weird. The whole El Dorito situation and the uh, quote-unquote blessing, albeit slash bought time, they had arranged with Microsoft in the first place was always a topic of uh, of which is which is going to be terrible for this podcast. Um, historical uh, zigging and zagging and confusion. They had previously been issued a legit as C C and D before C and assist for. Um, uploading some portions of the original Russian Halo online code that this game was based off of. El Dorito is a translation and a free, uh, unauthorized third-party redistribution of a Halo uh, free-to-play game for Russian markets. And the amount of source code that they include with that original one in this El Dorito release is what has been a issue of contention with the Microsoft Old Guard. So they kind of took down the download link for the current version, but the site is still up, the forums are still up, the Discord is still up, the game is still actively running. 
So that means that if you uh, <laughs> happen to be subscribed to the Super Bunny Hop Super Patreon at a tier of $10 or up and go over to the Discord, you can find instructions on how to enter and play today. <laughs> but uh, wow. I'm weirded out by a number of things here. I'm weirded out that it took Microsoft so long to issue anything. And I'm also weirded out that of the the kind of takedown notice that they could issue, it's one that's not really going to do a whole lot because um, the software is like totally like peer to peer ready. Like you you do not need a master server to play this game. You do not need a uh, any kind of publisher built DRM or storefront for it. You can very much load up a server on a friend's computer. And, and set up a Halo <laughs> El Dorito LAN party if any one person in the group has the installer. It's it's built like games from before the apocalypse. So right. the, the options that Microsoft has here for taking it down are extremely limited. For protecting their IP, though, I guess they did what... Not necessarily they have to do, but what is expected of them to do. I am not surprised mm. this happened. I am surprised it happened in a four-day window after it did, though. I I was hoping they were either going to take it down right like that, yeah, or it's, it's, like, it's like the, wait uh, We'll let a little everyone longer. get nostalgic over Halo 3 again. And then we'll take it away, and then the only way they'll be able to get that fix... Is to buy the Master Chief Collection, which is a broken piece of shit, but that's the only way you'll get uh, you'll get yep. your fix. That's that's what I'm wondering. The best case scenario here is them hiring the El Dorito team, having them re-release it for like a cosmetic store or something, is but Halo otherwise 3 not free. Part of the Master Chief Collection, anyway. I think Halo Halo Three would be that that has a Master Ch Chef in it. He's he's in there. He's on he's on the cover. It's a master yeah. Chef. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to mark down this timestamp. I humbly apologize, but I have a little bit of a breakfast uh, coffee emergency and got to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Um, hello and and welcome back to the podcast that where we never really went away. We were here for 20 minutes talking, <laughs> doing nothing right. productive. If you have suggestions on new <laughs> new bits or tips or no. tricks, no, no, <laughs> no, send them in to dad says no. podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> What? What? Yeah, Why? Twenty-one episodes in, we're, we're, we're desperate. The people don't know what they want. You have to. <laughs> All right, Thanos. And, and calm down. What, what do we want this week, Liam? Oh yeah, we're playing a game still. Still, this is one of the segments that we haven't cut out just yet. But soon, who knows? People keep st people send us suggestions every day for these games, and. uh Thank you for that, guys. If you want to send us emails, suggestions for anything, including new segments of the show, much to Matt's displeasure, danandsonspodcast at gmail.com, as always. Um, let's do this. Let's do it. We let's have do it. some trivia questions today from a man whose name, I believe, is in Russian, and I can't pronounce Russian. So I think it's well. He's, I'll his give it a try. Give his it a message goal, is: Hey, it would try. be really cool if you read the intro in my language, but I don't really know what to write, and so he never wrote the intro in his language. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> men. We're off to a thanks, great start. Thanks, Kahehoko. That's that's what I listen. Yeah. Oh wait, no, his name is written in English at the bottom. His name is Michael Hanko. Hey, hey, come on. That was pretty close. Give me that. <laughs> Guys, come on. I said, I said, my, can, can I, go? I gave you a high five. You, the death silence doesn't help. That, that, yeah, you heard the slap, yeah, I can't right? hear anything from Matt's end. I would hear like a, a deathly echo. Oh, oh, my clap turns into an echo through the mic? 
Listen, I didn't get a chance to so, slap the stuff. The right. slap stuff. Sorry, let's go with the last trivia game. The last... <laughs> Dude, you're playing on expectations. <laughs> holes I have to walk no, through. No, you said, you said that holes. now. You said that now that in two weeks' time, now we have to definitely make a new segment. Look at the pressure you put us under, Matt. Yep. Yep. Once again... If you have yep. suggestions, Set it here first. Let's, we are useless. Let's, let's let's game or we're useless. <laughs> Whoa. If you have suggestions on a new segment, <laughs> no, no, we got this. <laughs> I can hear the music oh, okay. now. Oh, damn it. So, for what could potentially be the last ever <laughs> trivia game, uh, or this might just be. This might just be when My we keyboard is ready. and we have to bring it back because we have no content. For now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're going to put Matt and George through a bit of torture to guess a game in five clues. So, so Rachel, his number, number one clue is... This game was released in February of 2011 for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in Japan. It got a huge backlash okay. for its difficulty, even in Japan. So the game was reworked and some features were added to the gameplay to cater to the US market, you big dum-dums. Ah, was... Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't quite type that in. You said <laughs> February... <laughs> Wow, it took you this long to resolve 11? to cheating? <laughs> well, what, know, are, dude. what are you trying to say, man? I, to say? I, I heard typing and words I right heard there, you Leo. asked me to repeat the question so you could type it in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the fighting <laughs> words are more like a Phoenix Wright. Aha! <laughs> 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 I respectfully concede. <laughs> Clue number two. This game was built on the same engine as the Elder Scrolls Morrowind and the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. It was the first project of this studio in HD. My god. It came out in 2011 on the Gamebryo engine. <laughs> like... <laughs> It, and it, it was originally a Japanese release that was too hard. Yeah, Skyrim so came out. In I know this is going to be like. So I guess, I'll, yeah. Was that a new engine? This is going to be one of those cases where it's not going to look or feel like like it's like ooh, ooh you you know the, the Grand Theft Auto Vice City is on the same engine as Sonic <laughs> Heroes. Bet you didn't yeah, know that, yeah, hard it's gamers. Be like that. <laughs> Wait, that's a clue. Fucking shut up, George. But you just told me yeah, the no, clue. The, I added another clue by saying you're right. Sonic? This game looks nothing like Oblivion All or right. Morrowind. You're right. It's a, it... That's way too broad of a clue. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> For anyone listening, you can tell why we're getting rid wow. of this segment. <laughs> Yep. I respectfully can see. Number three. The first hints of existence Wait, of this Matt project was seen in the third installment of the now hugely popular JRPG series, which is actually a spin off of another JRPG series. Oh my god, that means I'm not going to know what extra hard. What is a hugely popular Wait, JRPG, JRPG series JRPG. right now? I don't know, Persona? That isn't Final, Final Fantasy. Fantasy 15. <laughs> I'm, 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 so it's not yeah, Persona? It's Persona? Well, I'm pumped. I mean, pooped. What's a spin off of Persona? Uh, wait. The, the Persona 4 dancing it's all night? Persona, Persona Arena. Arena. It's a game that was too difficult for Fuck. Japan, so they made it even easier for. Was it Persona Q? Oh, oh the, 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 the devil thing, the devil worshipping thing. The, 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 the sin, <laughs> sin chi, whatever. Um, <laughs> the, the damn, the damn thing. The, 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 the grandpa rampa. 
the other series, other than Persona, there's this like Shin devil Megami summoning Tensei. thing. No, that that, yeah, that is that what Persona thing. is a spinoff. Is it that? Shin Megami Tensei <laughs> is yeah. Persona is a spinoff of yeah, that. that. The, this game that Michael suggested is a spinoff of Persona. It's like a two degree you spinoff. Got, you got to be kidding. So is me. it Persona no, Q Digital no, Deluxe no, HD Summoners Edition no, HD Remix? That, that's not based on the Oblivion Engine. I don't think. <laughs> How in the world is there any Persona thing that's based on the Oblivion Engine? What the fuck is that? I didn't fact check these, so it could be wrong. The Oblivion <laughs> Engine Game Brio from like 2006? Clue number four. <laughs> the voice of the main protagonist was was done by Troy Baker. <laughs> oh wow, my god! He's everything, Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> George, you're more whiny than Matt usually is. I know what it is. It's right <laughs> oh, at the tip of my tongue. Oh, you mean oh. a good <laughs> Naruto? <laughs> Gurugamish. <laughs> One of the mi- oh, okay. Clue number five. The final clue. Let's see if let's see if you can beat Michael. <laughs> You shit talk the game, but the game board is the, the greatest segment of this show so far, which was the old cock segment. So don't you don't you be blasphemous about the game. Okay. I'm I'm Clue gonna settle five. Dragon Quest. One of the main locations of the game is in a bar. And this game tells a story about curses, nightmares, and relationships between men and women. I don't. I'm on the spot. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Cruising USA. It's a puzzle game. It's yeah. It's a puzzle game. It's an RPG puzzle game. Puzzle fighter. Sorry, an RPG. I, I can't. Is is it one of those like you know puzzle <sighs> games? You know what I'm saying? It's one of those. Uh, <clears throat> It's a puzzle, puzzle game, game spin-off you know of the Persona series from the so many people, engine. So Those many people dating will puzzle be games. screaming at you. I know for you sure. You know? Okay, is it is it it's not Catherine, it's Catherine. is it? How is oh. that that came out before I but did it ever come out on PC for the what? I, never mind. Just it's okay. PC. It's had Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I know, but I've been through a lot. I forgot about that game. Yeah, Catherine. Catherine. I didn't know they delayed it for being too hard for the Americans. Thank you, Michael. Mr. Uh, our Russian friend. I think he's Russian. Thank you for Catherine. For closing out By the, the Atlas, chapter that is game trivia. Much Thank you, to Michael. Matt and George's sadness that it, it will be sorely missed. Yeah, I oh man. Oh man, I'm missing I'm missing it already. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna right be now. very Well, sad. how lucky for Single you that we have another game to guess. Just- Wait, what? <laughs> we have like 60 unopened emails of suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> good. No, oh my no, good. Do you know what would be interesting? Do you want to hear some, do you wanna hear some, do you wanna hear some of the random suggestions we get from people? We're, do, we're doing this. We're doing this. Okay. So these, sure. is, these are some of the, the what are supposedly not obscure games that other people were, were suggesting uh, that you guys should guess. Uh... Homefront? I guess that's not that difficult. No. no. Um, another no. one was uh, the the flight game. What is it called? Oh, what's it called? Ace. Flight yeah, Ace game. Combat. Combat. There was some Ace, Ace Combat like four or something. Yay! Yeah, got one right. Terraria. <laughs> uh, that's not. That's not that. I'm trying to find. Terraria, Kingdom That's Hearts, like Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories like... for the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> oh, I would have gotten that. Like these are not, these are not that bad. Mania, the adventure game for PC. 
Okay, okay, that one's a little bad. Um, highlight text to reveal answer. I don't, I'm not, I don't have time for that. Um, <laughs> someone guessing characters. So instead, all that we do have time for... <laughs> no, Liam. All that we have time for Sly is Cooper enough time two, to run Band out of, of time. Thieves. Oh my god, you're never gonna stop, Alien are you? Swarm? I don't even know what that is. No, he's never gonna stop. Um, oh, what's this oh. one? Metal Gear Acid 2? Yeah, that's some pretty cool suggestions, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna fade us out here. <laughs> I thought the Skype noise was Matt leaving. <laughs> 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 Should have been. <laughs> Wizards a, and wizardry. Wreck. Oh, oh, there he goes. By Lucas Hartz. <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> there were so many emails. That was, that was a there were so ten many emails betrayal. where they had only the clues and not the game. <laughs> that's... Wait, that's not how this is supposed it's to like, work. It's like, I'm not playing the fucking game as well. <laughs> we, as a collective entity of dad and sons, are going to get this together. And we'll never be able to check because the answer isn't there. <laughs> <laughs>